Next, we have Ian Kinney. Uh, Ian works as a note taker for accessibility services at the University of Calgary. His family's earthship, built using recycled materials, rephrases the form of home to include off grid, self sustaining structures. I feel like Ian and Brian should also talk. But please join me in welcoming Ian to the stage. Come on up, Ian. Earthship's log, started 40815-2. My brother and his dog, Bruce, leave for the city. They leave me with a bag of seed and an order for mulch. For the rest of the spring, I call the Earthship home. But how do you regrow the prairie on this? I take this photo four months later. The Kitty Earthship is an off-grid, self-sustaining home located in southern Alberta between Balkan and Lethbridge. Nestled within coolies on 185 acres of uncultivated land and bordered on the south by the Little Bow River. The Kinney Earthship is on Blackfoot territory, and sometimes the Kinney Earthship is my home. Earthship's log, starting at 71714-1. Start where you are, use what you have, and do what you can. To build our family's home, first, we cut up a hill. In the summer of 2014, more than 30 volunteers and 13 crew members from around the world helped us to build the first Earthship in Alberta. We built this eco-friendly home, this living structure, primarily with recycled materials. 800 recycled tires packed with sand and 12,000 recycled cans of yeast and mortar form the walls. This radically <coughs> sustainable building offers all of the comforts of a modern home, but without any electricity, heating, or water bills. It's a home that takes care of you, and it takes care of itself, and it takes care of the environment. The earth ship pigeons in the pelvis of a hill. We follow premonitions, having at last attained sea. The analogy is that of scaffold. The analogy shapes the folding of soil. The ship accrues light in the coolies, recurring in conversations with the wind. Sacrifice to shack dwellers in the breast of a hill. We grow. We grow. Every weekend for a year before the build, my brothers, my father, and I visit auto repair shops and we gather used tires. Car tires of the appropriate size, packed with sand, found the earth ship's low bearing walls. And these tires line the starboard side of the ship, which itself is subterranean. We literally build the earth ship from the ground up and with the ground itself. To make concrete, we mix water with clay from the coolies and sand from the valley. The resulting mortar fills in our pot can walls. After the earth ship's first winter, the topsoil around the home looks desolate, and so my parents ask me, their homeless poet son, to live in the earth ship for a few months, to landscape, to tend to the gardens, to water the orchards, and to spread grass seed. Earth ship's log started at 41315 3. A burly man named Dave, with gums for a smile and a ripped t shirt, unloads two tons of mulch between the ship and the sea can. Earth ship's log started at 50715 5. I see a pile of dirt. I shovel. I feel an ache in my shoulders from shoveling so much mulch last week. I shovel. I feel a burn on my neck from a day without sunscreen. I shovel. I hear the birds sing. I hear the crickets. I shovel. I hear the coyotes. I hear the geese. I shovel. After first learning about earth ships, my older brother Duncan gives the book The Geography of Hope to my dad, Glenn. They're both intrigued by the idea of a self-sustaining home. My dad later volunteers to help build an earth ship, an earth ship in Wyoming, and then later another in central BC. I hear coyotes that sound like geese. I hear geese that sound like coyotes. I hear a loon. I shovel. I hear crickets. I shovel. I hear a swallow. I hear a robin. I hear that even here. I hear a killdeer. I shovel. I hear mallard ducks. I hear a red winged blackbird. I shovel. I shovel. I hear a sprag pipit. I hear chipping sparrows. I take a photo of a pile of dirt. <laughs> the windows in the Earth ship's greenhouse take into account our latitude in order to maximize the amounts of sunlight that the plants receive 
while limiting the amount of direct sun in the rest of the home. <coughs> Combined with double pane windows for insulation and topped with transoms for ventilation, the environments in the greenhouse and the rest of the earthship remain discreet. Weighted vents above the greenhouse release air that the sun warms throughout the day. Also, cooling tubes in the earth along the starboard side of the ship, or what I call earth tubes, draw fresh air in through the ground. Residents may open and close these vents as needed to maintain room temperature. With this ventilation system, the earth ship literally breathes. No one has ever built an earth ship this far north before. But despite the intense fluctuations in Alberta's weather, the earth ship's unique ventilation system and geothermal heating allow the greenhouse to grow plants throughout the year. We currently grow lettuce, spinach, potatoes, pumpkins, squash, various herbs, a giant aloe vera plant I call Steve, many tomatoes, strawberries, apples, oranges, grapes, onions, green onions, and chives. But how do you grow a gardener? The term nautical twilight dates back to when sailors used the stars to navigate the sea. During nautical twilight, observers on Earth can easily see most stars, and you can see the stars so clearly from the Earth's ship. Percy meteor shower was so clearly visible on the Earth's ship, it was fantastic. Visitors to the King Earth ship can tour the various technologies that sustain the home. These include geothermal and ventilation systems, the rainwater filtration and gray water systems, the solar power and electrical storage systems, and more. You can review the blueprints of the Earth ship if you like and see a photo log of the Earth ship construction. Everything is there. I can tell you everything you need if you come over. My parents recently to return from a court hearing where they formally appealed the expansion of this gravel pit into our backyard. As a, as a landowner and resident in lot W32 1320W4, we strongly object to the expansion of this gravel pit. These are sensitive environmental lands, home to many endangered species, including sprag pippet, curlew, sandpit, nighthawk, porcupine. Earthship's log supplemental. This house, whose walls are made with cans of tin, whose girders are rubber tires packed in with sand, harvest sunlight. This house, birthed by wooden beams and glass panels, gathers the water that falls from the sky. This house, whose floors are formed by slabs of stone, also cools the air with earth from around its stern. This house, not only a house, but also a ship of sorts, half buried in the earth, cushions warmth within its windows. This house is also mostly a hall, a corridor of sorts, and it opens into a valley, and this valley knows the coolies as their neighbor. The coolies story wind. They shelter birds, and they keep the river hidden. This house, which is also a hall, which is also a ship, a corridor of sorts, opens into a valley, and the valley smothers a river, and the river the river is not a straight line. Do not confuse the river for a straight line. Thank you.